Right, so you got to understand this. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, digital marketing is bad. I'm just saying that the confidence in data-driven marketing as in a way where we use the mechanics, uh, we believe too much in the platforms and in the mechanics that govern them and too little in the creative work that goes into them. And I think that this discussion has come up based on a few different reasons. Uh, and first of them is the fact that we have been used to uh, uh, working with agencies that deliver our creative. Now, I believe that that is something that will still be the case for a few years. But as we can see, uh, creative material, creative situation and creative usages, usages of our products are um, being better represented by the work being done by our end users of our products. Uh, we will not need the agencies in the future. And they sort of hold creativity and the creativity norm at ransom today uh, because it's been the simplest and the easiest way of making purchases of creativity. Now, the problem with that is that, uh, you know, they always need to come up with something that is you know, hopefully, in the best of cases, it's real. But it doesn't get more real than the, the way that people are actually using our products. And so I believe that we need to set up a, 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 a new order uh, where we can find and harvest creativity amongst the people who are actually already using our stuff uh, and using our services. Uh, and from that, we will be able to then add the mechanics of the digital world and use data in order to find which of the creatives produced uh, is the one to, to move forward with. Um, I talk a lot about a thing called the smallest acceptable truth. And you have to prototype a lot of different versions of your communication until you find that smallest acceptable truth. And that doesn't really work unless you're working with the people who are actually involved in your brand or actually working with your product or actually using your product. An agency will have a difficult time and will be, you know, it will be based a lot on luck whether or not they will be able to, to, to represent this in their creative. I'm not saying that there won't be examples every year, but I mean, last year we spent $170 billion in digital marketing and I mean, we got like five examples based on agency work and we got so many other examples based on users creating virals around products, brands and such things. And there is a magic to branding and to uh, creative communication. I just believe that the discussion has been tilted because it's now about agencies survival and agencies uh, not surviving. Uh, and I think that they are feeling the competition and the burden of, of uh, uh, user-generated production. So that I find important to note.